What's good, Ravens fans? It's your boy, JG. We're going to get into this reaction video to Rich Eisen talking about the relationship between the Ravens and Lamar. Let's jump right into it. I don't know what's going on with Lamar because when I spoke to the Ravens, when I saw them um, in week, was at 15? They all mold together right now. Um, yeah, it was week 15 at Saturday night game in Cleveland. They were all saying, we're, we're going to get Lamar back, I think, next week. He could have played now, but he doesn't want to play with a brace on. He doesn't want to do this. He doesn't want to really do that until he's 100% healthy. And he's still not back. Tyler Huntley is doing what he can, but this team is a totally different animal when Lamar Jackson is behind center or in shotgun. And, and guys, this is what happens when this is what happens when you have one of the best quarterbacks in the league. The team is different, especially when you don't have a good coordinator, right? Maybe Andy Reid could have a different quarterback and that team can be good without Patrick Mahomes. We can't do that here because Greg Roman can't scheme up anything, right? The only scheme Greg Roman has is let's, you know, I'm going to do cool running schemes. Everything else, Lamar, hey, you got you to figure it out. And so, of course, when your strategy on offense is Lamar figure it out, when Lamar is not there, no one figures it out. And I, I don't understand why that's hard for anyone to grasp. So, Totally different ball of wax. And he's got to come back. And he's got to be Lamar. Because you're looking right now at the rest of the AFC playoffs. Talk about a great time to be alone. Guys, I know what he's about to say. It's brutal. It is brutal. I mean, again, he's going to count down, but just off the top of my head, Chiefs, brutal. Bills, brutal. A Chargers, brutal. Jacksonville already beat us. Bengals, brutal. This is a brutal, brutal AFC division, man. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. Let's go. Are in the playoffs in the AFC. Finally. And... It could very well be. And and let's look at this, guys. Let's let's take a look at this really quickly. So um, I guess it was a little bit in the past. I can tell you who was in because I know because I'm, I'm from the Sunday uh, after the uh, Ravens lost to the Bengals um, in the regular season. So I, I can I can tell you what's happening. So uh, Chiefs, brutal. Bills, brutal. Bengals, brutal. All in. Jacksonville is in. They already beat us. Tough. Chargers are in tough right they're very talented um the dolphins are in uh so the patriots lost so they're out we're in of course the dolphins are in um and again they don't have a quarterback right now but they have two receivers that have already killed us so it's just a very tough 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 afc playoff picture for real and i i, I believe it will be trevor lawrence getting his first roll at it and those are your five other quarterbacks that are currently most likely to be a group of five. You gotta have Lamar. You gotta have Lamar. In this tournament, with those quarterbacks in it, and the seventh one coming in may very well be Kenny Pickett playing well as he's doing, or can Matt Jones get in there? Can it be Tua if he is healthy enough to come back? You gotta have Lamar. Lamar's your difference maker. That defense is a difference maker despite getting run all over on Sunday night football. They had one last shot to try and get off the field and win the game and couldn't. Got to tip your cap to the opponent. And he's 100% right about that, even though they didn't perform well in that one specific game against the run against the Steelers. Overall, they've been great. Um, and the big question was for me, how would they play against the Bengals? Um, and the truth is, is that they played awesome I thought against the Bengals they just had too many short fields so there's nothing you can do about short fields but I, overall I thought they played well and if Lamar Jackson can you know give you three touchdowns and and only turn the ball over once right then we win that game to be honest so it, we will see but I, I just thought the defense is good enough to make it happen but Lamar Jackson has to come back he is the ultimate difference maker. Certainly when the pool is so deep, you got Allen Mahomes and Herbert and Burrow. 
in the playoffs. Got to get him. Got to have him. But how about that AFC quarterback group in the playoffs already in? Man, and you add Trevor Lawrence to that mix? Yeah. Because you the Ravens, we're assuming, are not going to win this division. Bengals can wrap it up tonight with a win and then personally do it against the Ravens next week. Boy, the Ravens are rooting for the Bills hard to know. But right now, the Ravens are behind the Chargers. And Bengals-Ravens might be a matchup we see right away in week 18 and then in week 19. Or the Ravens somehow get above the Chargers. The Chargers probably looking at the Jaguars saying we yeah, want them again. But I really want to see that game. Oh, I mean, the Jaguars, as you know, put a 40 bird on them earlier this year that was a nice little... You know, snapshot of what was to come from this team. Oh, those playoff matchups are going to be still good. They are. The AFC's off the off the charts, which is just, again, I'm going to kind of repeat myself here. The Ravens have to get Lamar back, and they got to get Lamar back being Lamar and making these defenses totally confused, head on a swivel. Who's got it? Where are they going with it? And then he has to be excellent. I mean, if if we if we would have a chance, he, and guys, I mean, this is making me sad. Watch this. I ain't gonna lie to you. He has to be excellent, and um, and not just excellent like you know sometimes in the like this season excellent. He has to be the best player in the league, excellent. And we know he has that potential, um, because he's been the best player in the league uh, for a year. He has to do that again, um, and outshine people that he's going to be going up against quarterback to quarterback, which is going to be tough. Rich, Rich Eisen just pointed out all the, all the people he has to be better than. Um, because if he's not better than them, he doesn't need, we're, he's not, we're not going to be able to carry the day. Um, he's going to have to carry us all the way there. So and that's the truth. Somebody's got to make a play down the field. Catch the Rich Eisen shoe. Oh gosh. Oh, who's going to do that? Oh, that's that. That made me really sad. Who Who's going to, Who's gonna make a play down the field? Oh shoot! I guess Mark Andrews, but the only thing he runs is crossers, so I don't know. You know well, what's gonna happen there? Okay, so man, that was sad, right? Because the truth is, Lamar Jackson has to be great, Lamar Jackson, and he has a couple obstacles in his way. One is health, right? Is the knee right? You know, it's it's Lamar Jackson, and this is gonna be a test. Everyone says, oh, if he takes an injury, it affects him much more than another quarterback because he runs a lot. We'll see, right? We'll see if he can get it done um, on that knee. That's the first thing. The second thing, the talent at receiver. That's that's working against Lamar. It's just not there. And they're going to have to perform above and beyond. And this is where stories are made in the playoffs. So maybe it can happen. We've seen Joe Burrow um, get to the Super Bowl with a terrible offensive line. Can the Ravens get there with a terrible receiving core? Um, and then... Uh, the the biggest, not the biggest thing, but another thing is that rust. The, the connection to the receivers is going to be there. You haven't practiced in so many weeks. Are you going to have the ability to make it happen? Those are the big questions that we all have. I hope, I hope Lamar can answer these questions and make it, m- make our team successful, uh, but it's going to be a hard road. And against Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs, with those with the receivers that we have, you, it's not about scoring 20. It's about scoring 30. All right? Against some of these offenses, it's not about scoring 20. It's about scoring 30. So we'll see if they can do that. Um, I hope they can, but we'll see. All right, guys, let me know what else you want me to react to, anything like that. Leave a comment. How do you feel about this? Please let me know. And go Ravens.